still getting worked on. Uh, here's the axle. The axle's got one coat of paint on it, so I'll do one today, um, hopefully one tomorrow. So I'm going to tackle this axle, um, give uh, the rims a little bit of a break. So this is kind of a dumb place for this oil zerk. It's like, you know, this is the, I'm pretty sure this is the inside of the tractor. I don't know, I'll have to go back and look at my video. Or right, either way, it's, it's, you know, somewhat hidden. I gotta look to see if this is on the inside or the outside when I took it off. Um, but either way, I'll figure it out. Um, the, uh, yeah, so that's, that's, that's the outside, so. Probably one of those things that's just hidden with grease and shit you can't see. So this is as far as you can turn it that way. So it's, this is probably the farthest you can turn that way as well. So yeah, you can't. Yeah, so this is gonna be the inside. So it probably was exposed. I probably just didn't see it. Anyway, anyways, so I'm just gonna take these off and then start scrubbing it down, and then uh, probably either wire brush it or flap disc it to loosen up and scuff up some of the stuff and then uh, start painting it. I right, got the uh, right axle off. Um, need to go get a um, something to put all this stuff in so I don't lose it. Some of this stuff I'm not going to use again, but I still want to hold on to it. Washers I'll use, spacers I'll use, bearings I will not use. Interesting. Oh, that's a bearing. Uh, is that losing? Oh, it's cracked. Oh, there we go. So I gotta replace something else. So, get, sorry, around here. So, looks like there's like a roller bearing. goes on the top here and it's cracked so get to replace that Surprised they have that. But I guess to keep it smooth, that's what they do. <coughs> All right, got both uh, uh, kingpins out, or whatever you want to call them. Um, it's one of the weird things that you can notice, I don't know if you can see it on film. Um, there it is. See, there's a, it's like a space here, it's wider up here, but it's not like it's, if it was like a uniform, you know, if it was worn, like if there was slop, to me you wouldn't have a, a ridge, like a very uniform ridge. See that ridge right there? No, at first I was like, oh, okay, it's just a spade. It's got, you know, it's got two support bearings, one at top, one at bottom. No big deal. 
this one is shorter. Oh, maybe maybe these are inserts and they're they're moving. That could be it. Um, this could be bushings that are just in there that um, are inserted in and are just sliding. That's what I'm guessing they are because that's the only thing that makes sense because this one's higher up. Feels about the same width as the other one. It's just not as uh, this one's higher up in the axle, whereas this one's a little bit lower. Let me see if I can still feel the. Uh, it's weird. I gotta see if um, it looks like it's actually pushed in front of the. Um, I'll have to get some micrometers and measure how low this is. Because it might be in front of this and you might not be able to grease this. So I might have to see if I can tap it up. Just tap it. Tap it in. So, all right. The, uh, Sorry. The I was able to actually knock knock it out. It, yeah, it's a brass bushing that uh, must have shifted down. Um, I don't know how. I'm assuming just friction that they're supposed to stay in place, but luckily this is. You know, I just was able to tap it out. Um, you know, I'll put it back in, and then hopefully it'll just stay up top, so we're able to grease it. Well, there's two of these on each side, so one at the top, one at the bottom, and it creates basically the distance between two of them, this gap, this wall thickness is where the grease comes in from the grease circuit. Got it pretty much wire brushed, um, about as good as it's gonna get. Um, I will, uh, what I'm gonna do now is um, spray it down with engine need grease, clean it up. Um, and I'm not gonna take it, you know, take all of this off. It's just, it's just not worth it. It's, if it's not been on there for 30 something years, you know, it's, it's painted on there pretty good. So what I'll do next is, like I said, just, uh, you know, do the degrease on it. Oh, it, oh, so you can see, I don't know if I took video of it. Um, see the, there's the bushings up top now and there's one top. So the bottom ones are flush to the bottom, top ones are flush to the top. So that should be good to allow um, grease in between the two. So uh, now to degrease. All right, got the uh, axle primed. Um, the, uh, should, it's been drying for probably about an hour now. Um, I'll probably paint it. If I can paint it today, I'll see how, see how dry it is. Um, I painted the ends of the bolts too. Um, this is just going to get covered in grease. So, but I scraped it up and uh, just gave it a little bit of prime. So I'll do this, you know, I'll paint the ends red as well. Um, and then all what I'll do is I'll, I'll scour out the center of these make sure um, it's nice and clean for, before I assemble it. I bought these uh, covers, as you can see, for uh, Zerks on Amazon. It was like a pack of like 50 or something like that. I've actually been using them up pretty quickly. They 
hold on nice. Um, you know, I kind of like them. Uh, just kind of keeps the crud from getting inside the, uh, the spring ball to keep these clean. Um, but any anyways, so these are painted. The, uh, the tops of the steering arms are already, those are already painted. I'll probably put another coat of uh, red on those. Uh, but those are done. So we're moving along. Moving along. 